No, I don't know what is with me creating two liquid videos in a row. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have enough water today. Anyway, that's what we are going to be creating in today's video. What's up everybody? Here we are inside of After Effects. I'll show you what I did with this background. So if we click on this, we have the video that I downloaded. You can create this on your own or you can download like me. Up to you and I just simply added a text. That's it. So if we switch back to our composition, we'll be using this layer as base. So we can just duplicate this, Ctrl D to duplicate and rename this. So we can call this base and call the second one. Press enter to rename, call it liquid. Now we want to animate this one. So we can go to FX and presets, type in Mercury. It's this one, CC Mercury. So double click on it to add. And we can hide this base layer so that we can see the effect taking place. It's basically this type of animation. We have explosive here, we can change the preset. We have trail, if we check this one out, we can make it trail. We have fire, but we'll stick with explosive. So time to animate this one. We can spread the X radius like that Y radius also so you can see where we are going with this we can change the producer here so it's basically the starting point where the liquids are gonna fall direction we don't need to touch it so velocity we can change it to 0 0.1 now we have this type of look, we can also change the birth rate to 0 0.1 as well. We can add some type of resistance to it, so 0 0.5 should be fine, so that it falls slower. And then we can increase this. So blob birth size, basically how big the blobs are gonna be when it's when it starts and how big it's gonna be when it ends let's take a look and if we turn this on we can see the type of look we are going for we can duplicate this one now so ctrl d to duplicate press enter and rename this to small liquid and then we can simply just change the blob burst size reduce the value so we get smaller ones we can change the value of this one as well and we'll just randomize this so something like that we can change the value of this also and that's the look we are going for. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.